Okay, we will be removing this panel. It's just a snap on and then four screws, 10 millimeters. One, two, three, four. And then uh, that's it for now. Then uh, we will be removing one, one clip right here. Right there. Then remove this 10 millimeters. Then we just simply take off the top. Then we remove this. We just unclip. And then uh, remove the switch. You just uh, pry it with this right there and then exit right there and then uh, simply remove the panel Then we're gonna remove the strut right here. Remove that by unclipping that spring. And you know how it is. There's a lot of video on removing that. And on the other side, you can see after I remove the struts, okay, from the top one, which is that one, and then the bottom. And then we need to remove this. Okay, because when you remove that, you will replace it with one of this and it's, it's labeled left and right. Okay, so just go figure out which one goes to the left and which one goes to the right. And I believe the right means uh, when, you're, when you're on the driver's seat, it's on your right hand, okay. We'll remove it now with a uh, wrench. Now that, now that I have removed this from the chassis, I replace it with, uh, with the bracket that came with the kit. That bracket over there, the black one, okay? And then we could install the strut, okay? We could install the strut, which is this one. And we need to remember that the, uh, the strut wire should be on the bottom, all right? So, I'm gonna go ahead and install it. It's self-explanatory. Next thing is we're gonna install this uh, suction lock. Okay, then we need to assemble this first. Uh, 
you just insert this like this and then insert it like that and then screw it. Like that. Okay. Uh, you could tighten this later uh, because it might need adjustments. Okay. So that's it. Then uh, we're gonna remove this uh, two bolts right there, one there and one here. The reason we're removing that so we could put this there and then replace the bolt, okay? So that's what we're gonna be doing. Okay, I'm not gonna show it on camera because it's self-explanatory. You just remove this, uh, two bolts okay one two and make sure you mark it uh, which I already did and then once you remove the bolt put this in there and then uh, put back the bolt all right all right next next thing we're gonna do is uh, we we need to uh, remove this uh, this spring tensioner uh, right there uh, you just have to to, to uh, pry that down so it will exit okay so it will exit that way the reason for that is because we need to hook this uh, suction puller uh, which is this one here we need we need to hook this uh, as, as you can see it, it has a hole okay we need to hook that in uh, here we need to hook that here so again the reason we, we need to to uh, remove that spring so we could hook this we could hook this uh, this lever into this uh, to this one and then once you hook that you have to put back the spring all right thank you okay so I, I was able to 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 unhook this spring from from that from that okay and then like what I said the reason we did that is so we could uh, we could insert this uh, puller that will uh, actuate the uh, the power trunk so right there so just insert it that way and then we're gonna put back the spring okay I'm not gonna put put it on camera because I, I'm I'm holding the, the spring so I'm gonna put it back there all right after putting back after putting back the the spring it's right there I put it back that's it that's how it's gonna look all right now we're gonna go do the wiring all right then we need to insert this on the uh, tow hook hole so by removing this so all you gotta do is push this and then pull and then you just insert it it's so easy uh, insert it right there and then it exits here that's gonna be your emergency uh, trunk opener all right okay the next thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna grab this uh, included in the kit it is labeled uh, status signal plug okay so what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna remove this and bypass it with this one so you just simply pull this and then pull okay and then we're gonna plug this right there and then plug this the one that we remove towards this that's it okay the next thing we're gonna do is we got the motor and then we have the motor plug it's late once again it's all labeled motor plug so what you're gonna do is you're gonna be pressing this so that it will open right there and then just simply plug it here bear with me and now it's locked so how that's how you do it 
All right, the next thing we're gonna do is another bypass. Uh, it's also labeled uh, motor plug, okay? And we're gonna bypass this thing here, okay? When you're facing the car, you're in front of the car, it's on your left side. So, so all you have to do is unhook that, like that. And then you plug this onto one of this, which is on this case is this one. And then you plug this where you took off the other one right there. All right. And then what we're gonna do now is uh, uh, install this uh, positive to the positive terminal and then the, the negative to the negative terminal. And it's pretty uh, self-explanatory. Just work with caution, make sure that, that, that the car is uh, turned off. Okay, I was able to uh, hook on the positive and the negative. So I took, I, I took off the fuse just for uh, just to be uh, cautious until I plug everything into the module. So plugging everything to the module is self-explanatory. Okay, so we're gonna plug the strut wire uh, left and right and the uh, this one here and it's color coded this one is for the buzzer and then uh, finally your power so I'm gonna hook it up all in here off camera and then we'll give it a test before you bolt on anything uh, we have to test it. Now we're gonna go test it. As you can see, it's not working. So we're gonna open it from the inside. Okay. And then open. All right. And now uh, we're gonna put it back together and it's working. So I think that's a, that's a wrap. So see you on the next one. Thank you.